Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. A fresh NOTAM has been issued at the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and very close to Malacca Strait. The NOTAM is for the period between 26th to 28th of October. The danger zone highlighted in the map is similar to the test of land attack version of BrahMos missile test conducted last year. Therefore, it's expected that this test will be most likely to be of BrahMos missile. Now, as we know that DRDO and Indian Army has been working and testing the extended range of BrahMos missile called BrahMos ER. It's speculated that this test could be likely for the same. Back in July this year, there was a test conducted for the BrahMos ER version as DRDO is trying to increase the indigenous content in this missile. This is being done to reduce its cost, increase export potential and shielding the countries buying it from Katsa Act or sanctions of United States. Initially, BrahMos had 65% Russian component including its ramjet engine and radar seeker. The plan is to further increase it to 85% by replacing the component with an Indian made seeker and booster. In the last test conducted, a new ignition mechanism was used which failed to ignite the booster motor. The booster motor requires an efficient ignition system to start its functioning. A separate ignition system called igniter is assembled in the rocket motor to achieve the task. The igniters are basically of two types. Pyrogen igniters used for large rocket motors of ballistic missiles and pro technique igniters used for small rocket motors. The propulsive force of a solid propellant motor is derived from the combustion of this solid propellant at high temperature and pressure. The igniter induces the combustion reaction in a controlled and predictable manner by generating heat flux in the form of hot, dense gases that rapidly ignite the propellant surface. The igniter also contributes towards this generation of a certain minimum pressure inside the motor that is adequate for stable and sustained combustion of the propellant. The BrahMos ER is being developed to have the extended range of 800 km. During the test, the range can be decreased by increasing the flight altitude of projectile. However, the overall area covered by the missile would be nearly the same. The development of BrahMos ER is important for India as the Indian military planners want to ensure that BrahMos ER remains unchallenged in the coming decades and remains undefeated against any air defense system our adversary might have been developing as it will have increased speed from Mach 2.8 to nearly Mach 3.5 or 4. It is also possible that the development of two variants of BrahMos ER with a range from 500 km to 800 km would have also been planned having speed of Mach 2.5 or near Mach 4 depending on the strike target. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.